Hey guys, Al Spence here for Gulf Coast Custom Models. Sorry it's been a little while. I've been busy, busy, busy trying to get ready for the uh, Southlands Model Car Show. Uh, got a few cars I'm going to show you real quick I'm putting in. Uh, up here you see right now is my 60 Chevy SS Impala. Uh, believe it or not, I didn't do a drag race. This is street stock. Pretty much all. Uh, custom wheels. I did smoke tint them wheels and put them on. They're extra, a little wider than the average, you know, street stock. There's the undercarriage. Detailed her up pretty nice. Filed out all the seams in it and stuff. So if you can't see it on camera probably, but I got smoke. I, I read this blue tint like, like burnt exhaust on the joints where they would have heated it when they bent the tubing. Um... So that's kind of a little extra bang. Um, let me whip it around here. Should have got my rotisserie, but I'm really in a hurry because um, I got to pack these up and everything, get them ready to for travel. So uh, the other ones you've seen, this one you haven't. So weather grill and everything. Those wheels. Let me, uh, I'll show you the interior here after I give you a ramp on the hood. Where's the big? I think it's probably about a 396 or something. The guy did a restro build on it, so. It's got your MSD ignition. Um, it's all wired up, battery lines, everything. This uh, trunk goes open on this gal. I'm gonna get a, a rod to put it in here for display purposes. Well, the interior is really nice, I thought. Two toned seat belts, gauges. Gives you an idea. That's my 60 Impala. I'm gonna do two cars on this video, guys. So I don't have to set it all back up again. So that's that gal. The next one I'm gonna put up is my 87 Grand National. We got a lot of compliments already on this from online people. A few people have seen these on my Facebook page. On my Google Plus if you check out Google Plus. But again, there's my 60 Chevy Impala. Hope you like it. As always, a little input never hurts. As you don't call me anything more than four letters in the word, or at least stream them together in one sentence, that'd be nice of you. And like my dad always said, put a feather in your ass, we'll both be tickled. Okay, up here is my Grand National. It's got a couple lint things on it. It really, this thing shows, got a heck of a shine to it. I really. Spit and buff. Spit. Somebody said, how do you get that shiny? Spit and buff. Spit and buff. <laughs> Heard that in the show one guy. Some snipers shooting at a guy. They got blood all over their 50 caliber rounds. And the guy said, how do I clean it? He said, spit and shine. Spit and shine. <laughs> Anyways, there it is. These are the cutlass wheels. I liked it because of the red rims on it. So I used these red rings. Black smoke tinted them. Uh, both these kits are the Revels. I used the Buick logo on it, blacking in the grill and have knocked them headlights. Hand tinted by me. <laughs> oh, see what I mean? That's just slint, guys. Somebody out there saying, look, man, he is human. You got a chip on it. Yeah, I had some guy tell me, keep practicing. He said, keep building practicing. He goes, you'll get better and you'll be able to do contest level cars one of these days. I thought that was kind of cute. But uh, the interior is also two-toned, factory-colored smoke tint gray and black. Um, seat belts, it didn't have the lap belts at this time. They're pulled down, they're up in the ceiling, and I, but I got the buckle sides on each side of the seat where you can see. Um, show you the engine, I did the factory engine. Hang on guys, gonna have to 
do the old hand over flip up. Okay, here we'll get an interior shot while we're here. I did put a fire extinguisher inside. This guy would have done some street racing on Saturday night, so you know that Snuko 260 is pretty flammable. Here you go, there's a turbo charged. A little tricky building this one. I haven't built a lot of turbocharged engines, so it was uh hit and miss on a few things, so got to I put red heater line hoses in. I seen where they were like this in the factory. So there you go. I hope you guys like it. I really like this car. Again, I sanded and filed off all the seams in it all the way through. What do you think? You think this might place in a show? I sure hope so. I don't care about the awards. I really don't. You know, the recognition is nice. You guys just feedback on here and thumbs up and comments are enough for me, really, guys. But my daughter thought it'd be nice if I got a couple awards on him and stuff and she could keep it and give to Elijah when he got older to help inspire him to do things. So I said, okay, that's fine. <laughs> but... You know, I got a tack cloth to get this lint off, guys. They make one, if any of you are wondering. Um, matter of fact, right here it is. Mine's a little rough, but I'll show her to you. See? It's got tacky stuff on it, and it does. It works. I do this before I paint any of my bodies. I use this on them. You can get it at Hobby Lobby, any hobby store, you know, online. Um... I don't remember the name of it. It's called a, I, I call it a tack cloth, you know. I didn't do no chrome on this because they didn't have chrome. The chrome was actually painted the same color, you know, as the car. I wanted it to be black and kind of menacing looking. I did do aftermarket exhaust tips on this. I added those. So, there you go. There's the super bad and black. 87 Buick Grand National V6, one time one of the fastest street production cars ever put out, if you didn't know. Alright. Um, hey, I'm going to do another video, guys. I'll do another one. I'm going to stop this one and uh, reload another one. I'm going to show you my Grumpy Jenkins 112 scale, the big Camaro. So, um, follow up, tune in. You want to check that car out. I think it came out pretty nice few things I'm disappointed on other things I really like about it so hey you know I hope I do good this weekend at the car show again anybody in Florida South Georgia area it's the Southlands model car show um, I don't sure exact the address oh yeah I am here I got a flyer but if you're going look me up that ain't hard to see the community center Dundian Dundee in Florida. Um, I gotta fill up my registration tonight, so I'm really busy. I gotta pack these up. I wrap my cars in tissue and put them in boxes before I transport them. Um, so, look, you guys take care. I'll talk to you later. Take care of each other. Any questions, comments? Uh, Give me a holler. Leave your leave it here. You know, I get back to most people eventually. I'm a little slow, but things will slow down after this. So, you guys take care. Have a great weekend. And uh, Al Spence, Golf Coast Custom Garage, right here out of Inverness, Florida. You have a great week, y'all. Talk to you later, man. I'll let you know how I do in that show. Peace.